today in the the current environment when we are struggling for the the global global economy crisis same time the financial crisis and the we are fully aware about the the climate crisis so really truly we are developing our world sustainable continuously we are struggling for the different types of the crisis so it's the biggest uh, constraint is increasing and we are not going truly in the right directions so we have to rethink and we have to redesign and transformation of the whole process is required through the business initiatives it's becoming extremely important because what are the the current challenge for us is there how to develop our global economy sustainable that's the priority is coming same time how we can create uh, environment friendly development so that's the second thing is there and same times how we make our business more profitable so it's a very complex uh, opportunity uh, challenge is there but if i see the differently why not this is opportunities because that is giving a huge enormous business uh, development and we have to rethink rather than going on a conventional way of the business to find out the new way of the business and create the great opportunity and develop the sustainable worlds if we understand in the truly realities the five times resources are available for the renewable developments in a different way whether it is a wind solar geothermal so a lot of things are god has given a huge enormous resources but truly we are not utilizing that if we utilize that i strongly believe we can convert the better world for our children the most important uh, things are coming down in my mind how how part of is coming to develop these things it's a very clear is there it's a innovative business model is becoming very important i will give you a very small example in the wind industries what we have done in 1995 sitting in india nobody was thinking about the wind industries or wind energy in 1995 the people strongly believe it's a huge capex investment and it's very expensive huge required a subsidy and other things and as you know the india government is not uh, giving a number of subsidy and to promote these types of the development so we have find out the innovative business model end to end solution provider and fully backward integrations business model we have developed in 1995 and we have created the market in the first in india at that time the size of the market was just 50 megawatt in 1995 and today india is doing 2000 megawatt nearly 20% energy last 5 years is coming from wind energy and india is the fourth largest country in the world to produce the wind industries compared to the developed world also so that's the whole things and this whole business was driven without any fiscal benefits india is not giving any incentives to support these types it's a purely business initiatives and we have created a different things not only that we have established the large manufacturing base in india and china and today we are giving a number of wind turbine to the more than 21 countries in the in the world so that's giving a huge support for the job creations it's not just we are developing the business but it's creating enormous jobs for us so what i understand and learn from doing this business it's giving uh, enormous jobs creations in a different different part of the world and mainly in the rural part of the countries because these types of the projects are coming in a rural countries and we are retaining those job in the rural part of the countries so that is the biggest uh, benefit it's not becoming a huge burden to the our urban cities and the second things we have found it's extremely interest is the energy security is for any nations are becoming extremely uh, economic development and sustainable development point of view it's giving uh, the benefits same times we are mitigating the climate risk also and by this way we can develop sustainable development of economy and we can give the better world to our children thank you